Hey guys, welcome back to NWA 3D Tutorials with me, Michael, and we're going to cover the leveling process for the A31. But this is one of our larger models. It is a 12 by 12 by 16 inch build area, and it also has a heated build plate. So we're going to go ahead and step right into it, and I'm going to swap screens so you can look at the main control power unit. All right, as seen in front of you, we have our power unit, we have all of our readouts, including our nozzle and our bed. And the first thing we're going to need to do is we need to hone the printer into a position so that we can begin leveling. So I, the idea that we're trying to do here is we want to get a certain distance between this extruder here, you see on the right hand side, and the build plate. And we want it to be a really small gap. We want it to either be 0.1 millimeters if using blue tape, or 0.2 to 0.25 millimeters if using this lock build surface that you see here. So the first thing I'm gonna to need to do is click on the button once, we'll go down to setup, and then we'll choose auto home. As it moves, it's gonna go ahead and put itself right into the top front left corner here. It's gonna go all the way back, all the way to the left, and all the way down. So as it kind of moves to its spot, we're going to need one other tool in order to level this build plate, and that is going to be a simple piece of copier paper. So if you are using blue tape, you can use just an unfolded or flat piece of paper like so. Now, if you have this lock build, you are going to want to fold that piece of paper in half to make sure that we have a cleaner distance. Now the reason for that is that this build plate is very good at sticking plastic and if it's too close, as in 0.1 millimeters, it'll actually cement to the build area. Now cementing is caused whenever it, the nozzle is so close that it's basically spitting into the build plate and this causes it to become extremely hard to remove and very stuck. So usually the only way to remove that afterwards is to print over it again and then peel it up. All right, so now our extruder head is in that front left corner, and we're going to go ahead and disable motors so that we can move everything around. I'm going to click on the button once more, go down to set up again, and this time choose disable motors. Perfect. Now we should be able to move the build plate forward and this side to side, but we do not want to move this up and down. So. Now that we have it in the position that we want it to be, it is on zero Z, which is important for this. Then we're going to take a look at underneath the build area and what we'll be adjusting to change the level. So if you notice underneath here, there's a knob accompanied by a spring directly above it. So by adjusting this knob, it's going to either release or tighten the spring and cause the build plate to move in accordance. You may also see another one over here. So there is four of these or one on each corner of the build area. So these we're going to adjust in order to move the build plate up and down. So in order to move it down, we would twist it counterclockwise. And of course, to move it up, we would go clockwise again. So that's what we're gonna start with. Let's go ahead and take our piece of paper. And then we're going to slide it in between the nozzle or the extruder in the build area. Oh, I'm having a little bit of trouble getting it underneath. If you are, you can go ahead and push down on the build area and then slide the paper underneath. This should give you a little bit of room to work with and since it's on springs, it should be able to move. All right, so I'm gonna line up this nozzle along with the bed in kind of the same spot or directly above that knob you just saw. So that is kind of a little bit in towards the corner, maybe right about there. We're gonna see if we file any resistance on this piece of paper to tell us if the paper is actually being smushed or it's at about 0.2 millimeters. So mine isn't finding it much resistance at all. So in order to move it up, I'm going to go clockwise. So I'm gonna twist it a quarter turn and check it again and do another quarter. I'm going to repeat that process until I do feel it dragging on the paper. Oh, so I feel it now, and it seems that I might have gone just a little bit too far as you see it crinkling. So I'm going to back it off a little bit by going counterclockwise. All right, there we go. 
So now it's staying even and it's not buckling the paper, which means it's at a good distance while we can still feel the resistance from the print. So let's move it over and I'm going to do the exact same thing for each of the three spots and just go through the process of elimination to make sure it's locked. All right, excellent. I feel comfortable with each of the four corners, and now I'm going to check the middle, middle of the build plate to ensure that it is level and that I feel comfortable printing in the middle. The middle is a little bit stiffer than I would like it to be, so I'm going to twist each of the knobs counterclockwise in order to lower it just by a quarter turn. So I'm going to do that here in the front, quarter turn, and here in the back, quarter turn. Now that I have it where I want, I can go ahead and test that paper one more time, and that feels much better. It's not quite as resistant as it was before. Awesome. So now my build plate is level. If you feel like it's not printing successfully, of course, repeat this process, but make sure you're watching that very first layer go down onto the build area. Depending upon if it's smushing into the build area, which can cause it to almost not extrude or put very thin plastic down, it's most likely too close. Now, if you're seeing it string before it touches the build area, then it's too far away, so you would need to move the build plate up. So just use that process and go through that a couple times if you feel like you need to, and then your print should be leveled and ready to go. If you've had a couple issues with this build surface, if you feel like you've used it for a while and doesn't quite have the same stickiness it used to, you can always clean this lock build with 91% alcohol or acetone. Both of these are great solutions to work with it. And what you would do is you would take a paper towel, you would pour it onto the paper towel, and then apply the paper towel to the build area. That way we don't mess anything up on the build area or start to dissolve it. Also, if you have a heated nozzle close to the build plate, it can cause pop marks in the areas that it's laying in. That's because the nozzle is very hot at 200 degrees Celsius, and that is hotter than this build plate withstands, and it will melt. So keep that in mind as you're using your A31, and if you guys have any other questions or you feel like you need more support, please feel free to contact us. You can contact us at our support page at nwa3d.com forward slash support. And I appreciate your guys' time and I hope your printer is working great and well.